Yo, what's going on guys? It's 10-5 and I'm back with this video real quick. You know, I've been thinking a, a whole lot about this Breath of the Wild sequel trailer and and I think I have an idea of how this current situation came to be. Now, I really I really wanted to make this video because no one outside of those who watch this will care what I think or what I have to say. So here I go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, 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 so hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. I get that there is some sort of spell in play here. You know, people say they deciphered the seal or the, uh, you know, whatever they say it says, seal Ganon, or there are some people that say it doesn't say anything. But it is clear that inside of the seal, it is Gerudo letters. I mean, it can be confirmed in a million different ways, so you already know what it is. Look, look at this. I was playing Ocarina of Time 3D on my 3DS that I got for like $50 from Toys R Us when it closed down. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to y'all, RIP, and also welcome back. So, to get to the point, Calamity Ganon is a legend, and that's what people remember. But there are references to him being a Garuda in the past, and these references come from Urbosa from when her spirit is, is, is speaking on the Boris and also in her diary. If you go upstairs to the Queen's room and you read the diary to the right, that's her diary and it, you'll, you'll, you'll get the gist of it when you read it. It, it clearly references Ganondorf and his origins. So it seems like this is something well known by the Gerudo tribe. They know that Ganondorf is reborn. They know about the whole cycle. Now, in the child timeline, Ganondorf was killed in Twilight Princess and was reborn in Four Swords Adventures, and the Gerudos were well aware of that. Ganondorf isn't born with the memories of his original life, but those memories slowly came back to him. He, he Over the years, he became kind of an evil piece of garbage. So, let's say a male Gerudo is born after a hundred years and this one starts to act weird starts to starts to get dark starts to become a scumbag starts to have evil intentions and people notice so what happens and this is where my theory comes into play i think that eight heroines of the gerudo are the reason that ganondorf is in the state he is in now i believe that they even had help Obviously, probably from the Zonai tribe, but I believe that they use some sort of magic to put Ganondorf in the state he's in now, decaying and withered, but still alive. And that's the key point. He's still alive. And I think, I think possibly the eighth heroine made a choice that seemed harsh and she was left out of the fanfare, but she still remained a legend in her own right. I think that they kept him alive because they knew if he died, he would just be reborn. You can't be reborn if you ain't never died. So they found a way that if executed properly, they could have Ganondorf sealed up never to return. So I think the mystery of the eight heroines from Breath of the Wild will be something that's explored and explained because I feel like Ganondorf's situation has a lot to do with the Gerudo tribe. The spell seems to be from the Gerudos themselves. And we have a reference to heroines. We don't know what they did, it faded into legend, but they are regarded as such, you know. But as the knowledge on exactly who and what Ganondorf was faded into history, so did their accomplishments, leaving only the knowledge that they did something brave enough to be remembered as legendary heroines to the Gerudo people. And they seem to feel responsible for what Ganondorf has done since it all leads back to them as far as they know. So it would make sense that they would act on it. And it would explain why a Gerudo spell is what's keeping Ganondorf in the state he's in. Perhaps even that eighth heroine vanished because she is a sage of some sort who stayed underground to keep the seal on Ganondorf working. Maybe, maybe that's what that hand is about. Maybe there's some sort of correlation between the two. 
it's very plausible. Them, with the help of the Zonai, I feel like they have the power, the technology, and the magical know-how, and the know-how of history to be able to pull this off. Or I could be completely wrong, none of this makes sense to anyone but me, so if you think so, let me know. I fully don't expect more than five people to watch this video or care, but I'm just saying it, it seems like a plausible thing to me. I also think it would be good because it's a great way to tie things in to some of the mysteries of Breath of the Wild and it also puts the Gerudo people to a forefront but not in a bad way because you know when you think about them you think about Ganondorf but now it would be great to think of them as the tribe that wouldn't stand for it. They, they figured it out and they made the necessary move to stop the incoming terrors that could have been done by Ganondorf. But it also leaves room for people to think if what they did crossed the line or not. To put a man who who knows what stage he was at in, you know, gaining back becoming the actual Ganondorf. They could have saw the signs and locked him up, but he didn't really do anything crazy yet. And there can be resentment building up. Maybe that's why the malice was coming out the way it did. And the hatred was so strong that it created a calamity. I mean, you never know. But like I said, I could be wrong. I have no idea what I'm talking about. So, you know, we'll see what happens. I, I hope y'all enjoy this video. I hope it made sense. I'm going to try and, and get people to watch it because I, I, I think that I think that I made a pretty good point and other people might start putting these dots together and I want y'all to know that you heard it right here first from 10-5 boy on my channel so you know what I'm saying thanks for watching peace